right. Hi, everyone. I'm so great. I'm so grateful to be here with you today. And I wanted to give you um, a little brief description of my evolution from being a physician assistant, a PA, to a poet, as it were. Um, I've always been a lover of words, even as I told the stories of my patients for 17 years as a family medicine primary care physician assistant at Indian Health Service in New Mexico and Arizona, oftentimes to the annoyance of my colleagues <laughs> um, because they like those notes short. Um, but I thought it was important to tell um, the patient's stories. So when a group of community volunteers and I began the Hummingbird Memory Cafe in early 2020, one of our regular arts-based activities became poetry in all of its forms. So we've continued this practice even as we transition to the virtual format of Zoom. And what I love about poetry is that there is no right or wrong. There is no one way to write our song. The letters may be tall or the letters may be small. There may be a rhyme or there may not. The words may be solo or the phrases may be long. There may be stanzas or one long song. So it doesn't really matter how you get those words down. Just write down your feelings, whether with a smile or frown. So our first poem was written in February, 2020. And it was called, it is called, Because of Kindness. We are friends, your smile brightens an otherwise dark day. Friends don't isolate and provide a listening ear. I've been brought to happy tears. I can breathe, I am strong, I am blessed, I feel safe. I am not alone because you see me. We are here, there is hope, we move forward. Because of kindness, I can face another day. So the poetry and some of our other arts are included in a currently digital magazine called Poetic Pauses that um, I have shared the link with Yuda. And so hopefully she'll get that all out to you so you can see all of the poems. We usually created a poem or some kind of writing every month at our cafe, as one of our cafes. So today we shared a lot of information about love and money is our topic. And it continues to support us in our journey on living well with dementia. So our focus here as poetry, um, as if affirmation is self-love. And you may feel overwhelmed by all that you have learned through these presentations. But as we gather to wrap up the day, let us affirm our strengths and past successes through the art of poetry. It is hoped that your own recognition of how capable you are will be sustained far beyond today's engagement. So I wanna start out by getting us centered and grounded um, by engaging in a meditation exercise. And if you do best with closing your eyes with meditation um, or envisioning things, if it's better when you close your eyes, close your eyes. Envision yourself in an everyday situation with someone you may or may not know looking at you with love and admiration, telling you something they like about you. Picture more and more people looking at you with love and respect. And continue this imagery by imagining yourself in larger and larger crowds of people cheering you on and showing their appreciation. Do you hear their applause? Imagine yourself, or actually do this, stand up, and take a bow and express your gratitude for their support and appreciation of you. And that's from Creative Visualization by Schottky. So for our exercise, and this is why you need your pencils and your pens, we're gonna write an affirmation in the form of an acrostic. And so you may have done acrostics before when you were younger, where you would put the letters of something down the side of the page and then you would fill in words that are related to that word that's on the side of your page. I wanna show you an example of a couple ways you might consider doing this, but again, in poetry, there's no right or wrong. So you interpret this as you like. 
So Luke, would I be able to share my screen? You should be able to, anyone can. Okay. Make sure I got this up here. So my nickname is Nikki or Nico. Um, and so for sake of time, I used my nickname Nikki for my acrostic. Can you all see this? Mm -hmm. Yep. So you can be very elaborate with this or you can keep it simple and I'll show you both ways. And, and you know, the reason affirmations matter is because they serve as reminders and inspiration and, and they allow us to create self change. It boosts our moods um, and it attracts, attracts positivity into our lives. So before um, I began our sessions today, I burned some sage um, just to and open the window so that there'd be a positive environment, at least here um, in my writing space um, to, you know, and I wanna share that positive energy with all of you as well. So for Nikki and my acrostic, not now or ever will I forget that I matter. I can confront my challenges and confidently I walk through life with the knowledge I have from lived experience and insight into the hope that things will get better. And if you wanna keep it more kind of as a mantra, then we have, I am nice, I am inspired, I am curious, I am knowledgeable, I am insightful. So these are two ways that you can do um, create an acrostic. And it's just two of any way that you want to um, create the acrostic. So I'd like you to write the letters of your name down the side of the paper and think of words of affirmation and positivity that you can match to those letters. And you know, it, things don't have to start with your letters either. You'll see sometimes when people do acrostics, they'll put letters on the other side of your main letters. And then when you put those first set of words down, maybe think about how you could even expand them or enhance them if you want to. So I want to give you a couple minutes to do this. And if everybody's okay with quiet for a little bit while we're writing. I can turn on some Enya. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. So just thinking about all the goodness that you are. All right, would anyone like to share their poem? Sure. Okay, Sally. My turn now, yeah. So mine is Sal. So sometimes art is life, my life. I am smart. I am alive. I am living. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Anyone else like to share? I'll share. I So I'm Luke. Um, I put love rules the day. Unlike evil, love is kind and brings energy to the soul. Cool. Thank you. Very nice. And then I did, I am loving, I am unwavering, I am kind, I am energetic. Very nice. Anyone else like to share? Well, I, I'll, I'll share mine. Uh, my name is Tricky. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so it's J-Y-T-T-E, right? Uh, I bring joy. Mm -hmm. And then for the why you are important to me. 
today is such a full day, tomorrow even better. Uh, this is not the end, this is the beginning. Very good. Nice, thank you, Dad. Anyone else? I'll be, I'll be brave. All right, Ruth. I put, I'm Ruth. R is remembering resiliency. U is unusual understanding. T is tough tenderness. H is honestly hopeful. I am resilient. I am unusual. I am tough. I will be honest. Very good. Be nice. Anyone else like to share? I can share one. Mine is easy. It's FLO. So it's uh, fun with friends, looking for you. And the O is grateful to be part of this group. <laughs> Very nice. Sophia, do you want to share? Oh, I see. She's putting in the chat. Sophia, seeing the future. And how about while Sophia is entering that, Catherine, do you want to share yours? Sure. I have a long name. Okay. I went with a theme. I went with colors for some reason. I don't know. So cerulean, amber, turquoise, heather, emerald green, ruby, indigo, nickel, sort of a silvery color. And then at the end, I put equilibrium. But I think actually I would change that to equalizer because I think beautiful colors are a wonderful equalizer between mm -hmm. people and they exist outside of ourselves beautiful thanks That's Catherine great. so for Sophia we have seeing the future thank you Sophia oh here we go it, it's coming in open to new ideas finding the knowledge to learn interested in being more me, accepting defeat when possible. Mm. Very, good. Very nice, thank you, Sophia. And Catherine, you asked what the theme was. The theme was you. <laughs> I guess I'm so feeling you, colorful. Yeah, know. so you're a gem, you're a gem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyone else want to share one? All right, Linda. Hi, Linda. My name is Linda, but I also put my middle name in, which is Lee. Love is most important in my life. I have a need to love and be loved. Never have I lost this passion, although there are days when I feel a failure and admonishing myself is not the answer. So love yourself must be my mantra. And every day I'll try forever, forever is a long time to let failure win. That's beautiful. Thank very you, good. Linda. Very good. Yeah. Very, very good. Anyone else want to share theirs? Sophia added the I am ones. I don't know if you want to read that one, Nicola. Sure. I am silly. I am optimistic. I am friendly, I am intelligent, I am accepted. So what you can do also with this is you can add art to it. You could enhance the letters of your name. You could you know, do other graphics with it really to, to complete the whole experience if you like. Um, so the challenge though is where can you post these affirmations to remind you of your goodness on those days when you are feeling less positive about how things are going. So I wanna close out um, with a poem and then a closing intention as well. This is a poem that I wrote um, last year and it's also in the Poetic Pauses magazine. The gift of you, a hummingbird speaks. You are special one of a kind, there is no one else like you. We are grateful that you are here. Be just 
you. Share your gifts, talents, and love with others. Let no one hold you back, not even yourself. Embrace the moment, be joyful, fly free. Your beauty radiates amongst all of us. Keep shining. So as we end today's activities and prepare for a new day tomorrow, may we leave with the knowledge that we are powerful, loving, and creative beings. Thank you. That was awesome, Nicolette. Say that again, Yuda. Could you, would it be okay if we shared your poem with everyone? Absolutely. I sent you the whole book of, of poetry and art. So please do share that out. Okay, we'll do. I just want to check with you. Sure. Very good. Well, Yuda, um, this was a great day. Um, I think.